there are appropriate guarding systems for every use. The most essential device for safe operation is an appropriate, properly positioned wheel guard. Whenever setting up the tool with an accessory, it is important to select the right guard. Grinding wheels use grinding guards. Typically, the standard guard supplied with grinders is for Type 27 grinding wheels. Guards for cutoff wheels and guards for cup wheel applications may be available as accessories. Note that for some sanding and wire brushing applications, the guard may need to be removed. Always check the operator's instruction manual. Once properly selected, the guard must be securely attached to the power tool and positioned for maximum safety, so the least amount of wheel is exposed toward the operator. When attaching the side handle to either the right or left side, make it your practice to bias the guard to the same side as the side handle. The guard helps to protect the operator from broken wheel fragments and accidental contact with the wheel. Another important consideration for selecting a center to press wheel grinding guard is ensuring that the wheel is positioned inside the guard's lip. To best protect the operator, the outer lip of the grinding guard should curl toward the wheel to better retain sparks, hot metal particles, and possible broken wheel fragments. And if you cannot mount the wheel so it is positioned inside the lip of the guard, do not use the wheel guard combination. Ask the manufacturer for the appropriate accessory. As with all power tools, safety when using grinders is a must. Failure to follow all instructions in the manual and on product warnings may result in electric shock, fire, and or serious injury. We're going to mention some of the typical safety instructions. One thing you'll need is a safe work area. Keep your work area clean and well lit. Cluttered or dark areas invite accidents. Do not operate power tools in explosive atmospheres near flammable liquids, gases, or dust. Power tools create sparks which may ignite the dust or fumes. Keep bystanders, children, and visitors away when using a power tool. Always keep non-operators a safe distance away from any work area. Distractions can cause you to lose control. Anyone entering the work area must wear personal protective equipment. Depending on the application, use a face shield, safety goggles, or safety glasses. As appropriate, wear a dust mask, hearing protection, gloves, and a workshop apron capable of stopping small abrasive or workpiece fragments. Fragments of a workpiece or a broken accessory may fly away and cause injury to anyone beyond the immediate area of operation.